Hi, I'm Joe Tong with InstructionalFitness.com. Here today I have Jesse with me and we're at Gold's Gym in Venice Beach, California. Today we're going to go over an exercise that's going to work the thickness of your back and that's called Smith Machine Barbell Rows. This exercise is approximately the same exercise as a regular barbell row, however you're doing them on the Smith Machine. The Smith Machine is going to give you more added safety. If the weight gets too heavy, you can't finish the repetitions. You can always drop it or just re-rack it, less chance of injury. However, the other thing is, it actually does a little bit of a different angle because you're locked in to a set pattern. With the free weight, you can move it to adjust to your body. This one, you're already locked in, so you actually have to move your body to adjust. And that's how we came up with this exercise, to actually work a little bit of a different area. And I think if you try it, you'll really like the results you get from it. Jesse's gonna demonstrate for you. He starts with a shoulder width grip. Okay, his feet are shoulder width apart. Main thing is, his keeps that arch in that lower back and he bends his knees a little bit more to keep it. Now, his elbows are gonna always stay forward. As he comes up, you see his elbows are all the way stretched out. What that does, if you come a little bit closer, you'll be able to see right across the top here, works the thickness. Okay, barbell rows also work the thickness. But usually with the barbell row, you're not focused on keeping your elbows so far forward. You have to balance the weight and everything and so forth. With this being a Smith machine, it's already balanced for you. So you can really focus on putting those elbows forward, causing you to put that extra stress across the upper back where you can add that thickness to. Okay, go ahead and rack it at the top for a second, Jess. One other thing, just wanted to show you is there's another variation you can do this exercise. You don't see a lot of people doing it. However, it's still a row, but you're using a narrow grip and you're really focused on keeping your elbows in. So it's the exact opposite. Now, by doing it this way, you're gonna work the lower lat. Watch how Jesse does it. His elbows are in, like anything else he does for his back, he comes up and he tries to squeeze his shoulders together. Okay, with that, it's all lower lats. You still get some movement across the top here, but nothing from here down. It puts it all into the lower lats, okay? And that's where you get that thickness in the lower lat that we talked about. That's gonna make your uh, back actually appear wider, lower down. So, doing this exercise, you can switch it around. You can do a couple sets with the wide grip, elbows all the way out. If you wanna move your grip in, put your elbows in. Again, you're gonna target the lower lats for thickness there. The main thing to remember when doing this though is make sure you're warmed up, okay, and you have a weight that you're in control. You never want the weight to control you. So if you start to feel it in your shoulders or arms, you're probably going too heavy. You want to back down on the weight a little bit. There's two more things to remember. One, always keep an arch in your back and wear a belt if you're doing this exercise. Jesse doesn't have it on because we wanted to show you the thickness that he's acquired from doing exercises like this over a period of time, okay? The other thing you might wanna uh, think about doing is if you wanna make the intensity more in your workout, you don't necessarily have to increase intensity by going up in weight. What you can do, and I know what Jesse does a lot when he's getting ready for a show, is he'll actually cut down on his rest time. By cutting down on his rest time, it's causing him to work harder. Therefore, he doesn't have to go up in weight so he's not running the chance of maybe you know, causing an injury a few weeks out from a show. He might not be a top level bodybuilder like Jesse, he might just be uh, someone at home trying to get in a little bit better shape. However, you can still get the same benefit and the results by incorporating some of the things he does with his routines when he's getting ready for a show.